Cosplay Gamer Society. Hello, everyone, Cosplay Gamer 907, and welcome to a very different type of game. It is the PS2. Those of you classic people, you'll know this. It is the Italian job, the original Italian job game based on the film in the 60s, starring Michael Caine's team his voice, which is mint. And I actually cannot wait to play this game. So that's what we're going to do right now, we're going to get into this. London. So you've got all the different cars, you've got the Bassers car, you've got the Alps. So obviously you start with this. I actually can't wait to play this, I'm really excited. So go for the cutscene first. Um, I'll put a link below um, to stuff to do with the original Italian job. So like trailers for it and stuff like that. If you're new to the channel and obviously if you haven't seen this, God, it's totally perfect. It all started here, you see. <laughs> Roger had this plan for a bullying job in Turin, Italy. Unfortunately... <laughs> The Italian Mafia found out about it, and well, they didn't like the idea. Whoops. Well, I'll finish my time at Her Majesty's pleasure, and Lorna is on her way to pick me up from the prison gates. Touching scene, innit? The problem is, that silly cow has gone and borrowed the bloody Pakistani ambassador's car. I have got to get over to Marvin's to pick up the motor and I could do without any attention from the law. It's going to be bloody difficult to get across London in this thing. Oh, I just never get tired of hearing that. Never get tired of all. All the links to my pages and channel are going to be in the description mark below, so check those out. Um, the reason why I'm recording this is because obviously my gameplay for F1 2014 is still rendering for the fifth time, so this is probably going to get uploaded before that. The ambassador's car. Hello, oh, Charlie. Like the motor? God, look at the graphics on this. This car belongs to the Pakistani ambassador. Typical, isn't it? I've been out of jail five minutes and I'm in a hot car. I just wanted you to come out in style, baby. I just realised the analog sticks are the control ones. I've actually forgotten because it's been so long since I've driven to even play this game. Oh my god, I'm going over a range of shit. So the hours at the top of the screen actually tell you which way you're supposed to go from London and I'll be honest, this is really starting to piss me off. Not because we've got the bottom left is actually the registration of the car you're driving. The closer the police gets to you, the more let's go. Right, okay, I've got to go right, I've got to go there, but I can't because I've got cops on my ass, so I've got to lose the cops first. So yes, I know that I was telling me to go back the opposite way, but I've got God. 
it looks like I might have lost the car. Or the cop, so let's see if we can get in. Where else have gone slightly? I've gone down the wrong alley. And I'm out of time. Oops. Um, that wasn't meant to go to plan. So now I've got to redo it. <laughs> oh my god, it's been so long since I've played this game. The ambassador's car. Oh god, it's a cutscene where you can't actually. Charlie, like the motor? You can't actually cut, get through the cutscenes. This is all kind of part of the game. Whereas, like, in a lot of games now, you can press a button and it says this skip. Car belongs to the Pakistani ambassador. Typical, innit? I've been out of jail five minutes and I'm in a hot car. I just wanted you to come out and stand. I've forgotten again the turning on that. Oh, piss off! I'm gonna try and lose the car. Okay, I've got a minute 13 left on the clock. Oh, bloody double-decker bus. Wait, hold on. How has a car got on top of the skip? Oh, right, okay, take three. Um, I'll get the hang of this eventually. It's all about really avoiding the police car. The ambassador's car. This is not like F1. Hello, it's not like FIFA. Like it's not like any gameplay I've put up. It's not even like Batman, really. We can't compare Batman to this. But <laughs> it's it's a proper old school game. Belongs to the Pakistani ambassador. Right, what I want to do is I want to try go this way. I just wanted you to come out and style, baby. So what I'm gonna try and do is if I can get round without Cup car seeing me, so what I'll do is I'll go around this way. My phone's gone twice now. Oh, BA! Oh my god, I just offended a black cat. Oh 
god. Of this music, absolute mint. Okay, so on second stage of the, the London. The thing about a foreign yeah. job like this is that unless you've got plenty of money, you've had it. Now, Bridger's got plenty, but if I'm going to get my hands on it, I've got to impress. Now, that's where Freddy comes in, or Camp Freddy as he's known, on account of not having to worry about your bird running off with it. Anyway, Freddy is Bridger's right hand man. And if I'm going to impress Bridger, I'm going to have to impress Freddy. So, here I am. It's Monday morning, quarter to twelve. I'm meant to be meeting Freddy off the train at King's Cross, but it was a rough night, so I'm late. If I don't get my skates on, I'm going to miss him, and I can kiss goodbye to any help from Bridger. <clears throat> yeah, so basically... In this level, obviously the character, Charlie, uh, he's had a rough night, so he's got to meet some guy at King Cross Court 12, as it's already stated. Um, I, I can't remember what the car is I'm actually driving, but I know on one of the levels in London I'm driving a double-decker bus. Meet Camp Freddy. Meeting Camp Freddy. Right, so that's the... Ch there we go. Oh, it's one of these cars. Anyone knows what car this is? Please let me know. Oh crap! I've gone wrong. Oh wait, can I cut for it? Turn left then. Oh, bollocks. Whew. How the hell am I that? I don't know. Oh yeah, he's definitely Camp Freddy, all right. Well, he's Camp. I did it on the first go. So I'm pretty mint with that. Um, these gameplays of the Italian job are going to be about 20 minutes long, so I could probably get maybe another two stages of London in, depending on. Um, the longevity of the actual stage and what I need to do. Right, what's this one about? Now, although I know my way round a motor and the curved bits of a bird, traffic computers ain't my thing. That's where Professor Peach comes in. Apparently, this bloke's a genius. 
But unlike Camp Freddy, he has a weakness for the ladies. The bigger the better as far as he's concerned. So, I'm going to take a couple of big birds up the loony bin. That's sure to tempt him to go on this little jolly. If there's any, before I start the next stage, if there's any more like PS2 gameplay that you want to see, um, put in the comments below or just... Peaches for peaches. Peaches for peaches. <laughs> Come right. on, girls, get in. Whoa. Oh my God. My bloody hell, double deckers. Literally, that boss moves as such a lot to turn left. Two arrows, that means I've got two on my ass. I've got three on my ass. Oh, hang on, that's not that's, that's not going well. Oh god, I've got three. Shit. Oh, that's a power slide. I could have to lose power slides all day, but the problem is I've got cop cars to lose. Thirty-five seconds to get to it. I can't because the fucking cop cars are on my ass. Did you just say, say giggling? Oh my god, it's like Quagmire from Family Guy. Okay, everyone, it's just trying to move back. Uh, that is episode one of the Italian job. Stages one to three. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, leave a like, um, subscribe. Um, Comment um, on what other gameplay you'd like to see. Um, as this go, when this goes out, there will not be any updates going on my normal Instagram account, just due to the fact that my phone's kind of fucked. Um, so anything I do post, I'll probably post it on the Facebook page for the channel, which is Tennis for the Nana Send Productions. Um, that's in the link which we should to check out. Um, so until then, take care. See you later. Bye.